Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review Sicario. So Sicario is directed by Denis Villeneuve, who is the same director that brought you Prisoners, An Enemy, the film stars Emily Blunt, Josh Brolin, and Benicio Del Toro. So Sicario is about this FBI agent played by Emily Blunt who is forced to go cross between the U.S. and Mexican border and she's forced to join this task force to go eradicate the drug cartel that's responsible for the bombings that have killed some of Emily Blunt's team. So when I went into Sicario, I was honestly pumped out of my mind for this movie. Like, the trailers have been incredible. The movie looked incredible. It's from the same director of Prisoners, which is one of my favorite movies of 2013. He did, however, direct Enemy, in which I'm the complete opposite. I actually really hated Enemy. I couldn't stand that movie. It's one of the worst movies of 2014. But, you know, even with Enemy, I could still see that he at least tried with that movie. So I do still respect Enemy, despite how I feel about that movie. With Sicario, however, knowing the talented director he is, I wanted to see what he could do with this movie. After seeing Sicario, I was honestly disappointed by this movie. Cinematography by Roger Deakins. Phenomenal. This is a beautiful looking movie. It's very well lit. When it's nighttime, it looks beautiful. When it's the daytime, it looks magnificent. The cinematography from beginning to end really captured my attention. The first act of this movie was really awesome. It was really intense. I was actually at the edge of my seat when it came to like what the first I think 30 minutes of the movie. The, how the movies open first of all was really intense and it does not pull away from the traumatic stuff that happens and the sad thing is that that is the reality so this movie wanted to be as realistic as it can be Emily Blunt is good in the movie she's not great however I know a lot of reviewers are saying that she's very Oscar worthy in my opinion she's good in the movie it's not the best performance she's given and that's dealing with her character which I'm gonna get to in my negatives but I felt like for what Emily Blunt had to do, I thought she did do a good job in the movie. I also thought Josh Brolin was really good in the movie too. He's been trying to act like more as some kind of comic relief, but you know, he'll take things seriously when he needs to take it seriously. And I thought they made his character very interesting. However, the best character and the best actor, hands down, and probably even the best thing about this movie, Benicio Del Toro. Holy shit! That's all I have to say. Holy shit! This guy was phenomenal in this movie. His performance in Sicario is really Oscar worthy. In fact, if, if he even gets nominated for an Oscar, give him that nomination. He honestly deserves it, in my opinion. He was really compelling his character is the most developed and yeah just definitely the most interesting thing about this movie denis villeneuve also did a very incredible job directing this film and i know some of the reviewers are saying that this movie outweighs the storyline in terms of the cinematography and how it was directed and in this case i have to agree with those people because while the storyline it's honestly pretty average and nothing too special but when it comes to the cinematography and the direction oh my gosh does this movie really raise the stakes when it comes to that it is breathtaking the score by i believe the name is johan johansson that's how you pronounce it i thought the score was very well done too it flowed very well with the execution during certain moments of the movie and then the last good thing about this movie holy shit the third act delivered it was intense just like with the first act i was at the edge of my seat and i just couldn't get my eyes off of the third act but with all of those positives out of the way let's get to my negatives and one of my negatives is that the entire long second 
act of the movie. I think a good one hour, because this movie is two hours long. So you have your first act, which is 30 minutes. Then you have your last act, which is like a good 30 minutes. And then you have the second act, which is pretty much one hour long. And it drags big time. I wasn't very invested into the storyline. I felt like the movie didn't really explore enough when it comes to the whole drug cartels and all the things that happened in Mexico. I felt like it was missing a lot of that. It still has its explorations here and there, but I felt like it was honestly losing track. And that's why I really was bored during the long second act and honestly it was so long I felt like the movie was never going to end to be honest and it doesn't even help when you have a very weak female character and this is where I get to the part where Emily Blunt was good in the movie but not great and the reason she probably wasn't Oscar worthy in my opinion at least was because of the weak female character she's given now look I get it her character she's new to all of these situations Situations. She's new to the whole what really happens in Mexico. I get all of that. However, how the movie executed her was not very good to me, honestly. Her character was not even interesting. And why I felt like Emily Blunt wasn't great was because the way she would react to some of the situations didn't feel that believable, in my opinion. I felt like some of her reactions were just not that compelling. Not to mention, her character is just really sidelined and they're saving her for the third act in which that could have been good if like I said she actually had a compelling character. She started off as someone strong in the first act but then after that first act yeah her character really didn't have something for me to really care about. John Bernthal also shows up in this movie in which he is very good but he's totally wasted here. He did have somewhat of a purpose just like somewhat however I felt like he didn't really need to be in this movie to be honest oh yeah and not to mention this movie has an unintentionally funny moment between John Bernthal and Emily Blunt I'm not gonna say what it is for those that have seen it however know exactly what I'm talking about I just found that certain moment to be entirely out of place I actually laughed at it because it was honestly that silly to me in my opinion and the thing about this movie is that the storyline doesn't really try to elevate itself you know it elevates the first act and it definitely when we get to the third act but for the majority of the movie it wasn't really anything that remarkable it's just all very forgettable the movie doesn't really try to go anywhere so it's a serviceable movie at best it's average but nothing too special not gonna remember it I'm gonna give Sicario two and a half out of four stars so you guys in the comments down below let me know what you think of Sicario and let me know what is your favorite film from Denis Villeneuve this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!